Well, with all the things we're seeing right now in the news, people are going to be getting more aware about their privacy online. And whether you think about this specifically or not, your phone plays a big role in your online presence. To talk more about that, we have consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty joining us now with more on the apps that are collecting the most information about us. You know, what I've learned in this in this story, Vanessa, is that we ourselves are the biggest threat to our very own online security. It's what we do and what we don't do that mostly has the biggest impact. Well, I'm sounding the alarm on the number one app on your cell phone today that needs to be removed. And you're going to be surprised to find out which one it actually is. Welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk does not come from me, it comes directly from God's Word. And before we get started today, would you please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this a thumbs up. And if you would, please go to realtalkwithjordan.com and donate to this ministry so that we can continue making solid biblical content on a regular basis. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at our cell phones and discuss one of the most dangerous apps that's on it. And it's on over 500 million phones around the world. Now this app seems innocent and on the surface should be no big deal, but in reality it is deadly. And today I'm finally speaking up and warning people. Are you ready to know what this app is? The, uh, the original idea um, was actually birthed in the Chicago airport in uh, 2006. I was in a long TSA security line at the airport, and I'm not sure why God used that moment, but in that security line that day, I was thinking about this question of, I wonder if there's a way that we could leverage technology to help people engage with the Bible. Particularly, I was thinking about me, um, because I had struggled to consistently read the Bible, even though I desired to, I wanted to. Um, I just couldn't quite find the interface with it that fit with kind of the, the busyness and the travel and the way that my life was at the time. So have you figured it out yet? Well, if you guess the YouVersion Bible app, you're correct. Now hold on a second before you think this is clickbait, because it is absolutely not. I promise you this is not clickbait. There are several reasons why this app is dangerous and needs to be exposed. And I want you to stay with me as we go through the points. And at the end, I'm going to give you the solution to this problem. So are you ready? Let's go. Number one, the initial problem. See, the YouVersion Bible app comes from a false church, which is Life.Church in Oklahoma. It's also, this church is in 12 different states and has well over 85,000 people that attend each week. And that's not even including the people that watch online. Their pastor, quote unquote, is Craig Groeschel, who's on the screen in every one of these places. I mean, he's like the one they look to. Sadly, he is a wolf in sheep's clothing who is deceiving people. And I just did a recent video on him. If you need to know more about why Craig Groeschel is dangerous, please go check that out. Here's a little thumbnail of what that looks like. See, the YouVersion Bible app is also supported financially by some of the biggest heretics on the planet including this lady. What I love about her is we actually have a great partnership in working together. Years ago, Joyce sent a gift just out of the blue before we even knew her to help with the YouVersion Bible app. Now we have an amazing partnership. She's had, you may want to clap for this, over 1.7 million Bible plans finished on the YouVersion Bible app. Now, why would Joyce Meyer be supporting the YouVersion Bible app? Hmm, I wonder. I mean, if you wouldn't quote Stephen Furtick or Bill Johnson from Bethel or Brian Houston from Hillsong, and you wouldn't be singing their songs from these heretical churches, then why would you download an app that comes from a false church already and is supported and promoted by false teachers? Also, over a half a billion downloads have already happened with this Bible app. I mean, it is worldwide and it is making this church a lot of money because over $5 million comes in each year from donations from the YouVersion Bible app. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. And check this out, this will maybe shocking you. If they, even though they give it away for free, this is a company, I mean, this is an entity. And if they were to sell it, like the Bible app, if they were to sell it, they estimate it would be worth between 500 and $750 million. 
That is a lot of cash and making someone really rich. And I'm gonna tell you right now, and I say this several times through this episode, the YouVersion Bible app is a Trojan horse that wants to get false theology, sneak it in unknown, and get it into our heads and into our churches. Number two, the wrong people. Well, right now I'm here with Pastor Craig Rochelle, and he was uh, very instrumental in creating the YouVersion Bible that has become so wildly popular, you can actually just get the Bible on your phone. Craig, can you tell us about that? Yeah, we're super honored at our church, LifeChurch.tv, to have created the YouVersion Bible app. We've been able to give away the apps for free now since the very beginning, and have seen over 100 million So you don't people. charge for them, no, they're free. Totally free, you just go and, and download, type in the Bible. And free, that's a scary it, word today. It, it's, a, <laughs> it's a great word, we're, we're excited about it. And on the Bible app, we're really uh, honored to have a series of seven of your devotionals great. that people all over the world can um, use. So if you just download the Bible app to your mobile device, and then go in there and type in Joyce Myers, you can go through all these different devotionals, get the word of God in you. And we've got people all over the world that say, get us more Joyce Myers <laughs> studies because it makes such a big difference. Wow, this video should get your attention. We don't need more of Joyce Meyer. We need her to repent and get saved and shut down her ministry. And as I researched the YouVersion Bible app, I looked all through it. And I'm telling you, after a while, it really seemed to me like a Lifeway bookstore. I mean, if you, if you know anything about Lifeway, that's not a good thing, as they promote and sell every kind of heresy out there and label it Christian. The YouVersion Bible app promotes and features every false teacher that I could find. I'm sitting there typing all the way through it, and I found just about everyone you can think of. Here's some screenshots. I want to just give you a taste of what they have on their app. So let's look at this a second. They have T.D. Jakes. They also have Joel Osteen and Rick Warren, Kenneth Copeland, Michael Todd from Transformation Church, Beth Moore, Francis Chan, Bill Johnson from Bethel Church, Stephen Furtick, who is Craig Groeschel's quote unquote best friend, that would tell you why they're partnering together. And of course, Queen Heretic, Joyce Meyer. And just in case you need to wonder why and go a little bit deeper into why these people I named are false teachers, I have a video on each one of them individually on my channel. Feel free to go look them up anytime. Now think about it. If this app was solid and biblical, why would it feature and promote all of the biggest prosperity pimps, and yes, I said it, prosperity pimps on the planet? What's wrong with you people? I mean, think about it. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. It's all about the money. That's what it's all about. The YouVersion Bible app really has nothing to do with God's word. In fact, God's word is a side note, really, if you wanna see it. It has more to do with money, power, position, and promotion. And I want just to do a side note on this. I thought this was fascinating as I was studying for this episode. Did you notice the name of this app? You version, it's all about you. And it's all about the version of Christianity that you want. Oh, please, I hope you see how bad this is. John 5, 39 is very clear. Jesus couldn't have been more clear because he said the Bible is about him. It's not about us. And that's the problem. Is too many, too many times say we want things that tickle our ears, that make us feel good, man-centered. And that's really what the YouVersion Bible app does. It tickles our ears. It, make, it makes it seem biblical, but it's really not. Number three, no privacy. The YouVersion Bible app is collecting your data and has been cited with many privacy violations. Now think about this a second. Why would an app about the Bible need your info? Hmm. One eternity later. Just some food for thought there. In fact, it has collected so much data that even Google took notice and sent its own engineers to life.church to sort out how to store and analyze it all. That is insane and is a major red flag. And again, like I said, this app is a Trojan horse that needs to be avoided and removed today. And last but not least, point number four, and that is the preferred alternatives. 
I wanna make sure that you have some really good alternatives to this Uversion Bible app that are safe, they're solid, and they are biblical. So here's my top three recommended safe Bible apps that I use personally and have vetted and had on my phone now for probably a couple years. Number one, the Literal Word app. I love this app. I use it all the time for study for a lot of these episodes. I also use this in church. As my pastor's preaching and I'll hear a word, I'm like, wonder what that word means. And I can look up the Greek or the Hebrew, study it, kind of see its origins, cross-reference it. It's amazing. If you want to study God's word and you need an app for that, that is the number one one that I use and recommend. Number two, the Study Bible app. Another one of my favorites. It's by Grace Community Church, which is from John MacArthur, and it is super solid. One thing I really like about it is when you click on some things and you kind of scroll up or whatever, it comes with sermons, devotionals, blogs, and Bible Q&As that will help you as you study God's Word. So it is a great resource and a great tool. And number three is the Blue Letter Bible app. And I'm going to tell you right now, one thing I love about this is there is no fluff. There's no extra stuff. There's no this and that. Literally, it is the Word of God, pure and simple. And if you want to just read the Word or have it on your phone accessible when you're on the run or when you're in church or having your quiet time, Great app that will not get you distracted, will not have false teachers on it. It is purely the word of God. Hallelujah! That's loud. Now, don't get me wrong. On Real Talk, we always say that the real talk comes from God's word, not from Jordan Riley, not from John MacArthur or anyone else. And yes, it is vital. You have to hear this. It's vital that we are in God's word every single day. And I want to make sure that our focus and attention is on what God says, not dangerous opinions or teachings that come from false teachers at a false church that are celebrated by the YouVersion Bible app.